Hello, Stone students. Mrs. Stubblefield here with some quick SOL reminders. I sent you a message through Schoology this week that had detailed testing information as well as our bell schedule for Tuesdays, testing days. And I wanted to remind you, if you, all of you should have completed your health check through Panther Block. Um, if you had any issues with your health check, you should have submitted an IT ticket. If you are a virtual student and you did not get to complete your health check, please, please try before you come to Stone for um, virtual testing that you please try to come to an FCPS parking lot so that you can use the network to complete that health check to make sure that your computer is in the best shape possible. When you come to school for your SOLs, you wanna make sure you bring your fully charged FCPS laptop and charger to make sure that you're set up for success. You can also bring something to read in case you finish your SOL test and the testing block is not over. Um, you will have to turn off your personal cell phones if you have one and place them in your backpack for the duration of the testing block. So you will not be allowed to have your phone on or looking at it during the testing block at all. Um, if you have any questions about where to go for testing or if you're confused, you can always see your school counselor. There will be some students in group B who will be testing on Thursday and they will receive a paper pass this week on what location to go to instead of their first period teacher. So look for that paper pass if you're a group B student. Um, and this week, uh, this next week, starting May 10th, we'll be doing our reading SOL. All seventh and eighth graders will be taking their reading SOL. And then the following week will be your math SOL. Okay, any questions, let me know. You can always shoot me a message, Mrs. Doublefield or see your school counselor. Thanks and good luck on your tests. Good morning, Stone students. What a week it has been as we have honored and celebrated our amazing teachers and staff here at Stone. I speak on behalf of our team when we see how much we have enjoyed hearing from you and your heartfelt and thoughtful messages. You still have time to send a quick note of thanks if you haven't done so already. And teachers and staff, in addition to our students' gratitude, I want to say thank you for all you have done to make the best of this incredibly challenging year your tireless dedication to create meaningful and engaging learning experiences for our in-person and virtual learners does not go unnoticed. Thank you. As we get closer to the end of the year, we are in testing season. I want to encourage each of you to do the best you can, knowing this has been a year like no other. Do your best to get a good night's rest. Be sure you eat breakfast in the morning and reach out to staff if you need anything. A gentle reminder to please make sure you refer to the messages in Schoology and our school website for additional testing information, particularly for our virtual learners um, on Tuesday. This week, I have had a chance to meet with several students to hear how things are going at Stone Middle School. I always enjoy hearing from each of you about what you enjoy, what is challenging for you, and how we can continue to make the school year and your experience great. I look forward to continued conversations as we close out the year. In addition to the conversations, of course, I loved getting into classrooms. It's so wonderful to see the level of engagement with all of our students, both in person and virtual. To that end, this week's Portrait of the Panther winners are Matthew Spangler, Gabrielle Hyman Claro, Giselle Vadez, Neba Faruqi, Andrew Math, Gigi Calabero, Carson Coughlin, Blake Sanders, Chris Guzman, and Jake Dracopoulos. Congratulations and keep up the great work. Finally, please take a look at upcoming, op upcoming opportunities available to you, especially for our eighth grade students who may be interested in sports and activities at Westfield High School. 
This will be found in my weekly community message. One other final reminder, we will not have Check and Connect on Mondays because we will be doing testing. So you do not have to check in with your Panther Block teacher this coming Monday. Hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy the weekend. Be sure to share your love and gratitude with your mom, stepmom, grandmother, and any other mother figure in your life in honor of Mother's Day. See you next week.